In this video I'll show you how to shut down your iPad Air 6th generation and how to turn it on. There's two different ways on how you can actually shut this down. So let me show you. So the first one is to go into the settings menu and to go into the settings you should open the settings over here. You see settings it could be downstairs could be somewhere else on your screen. Once you open settings, make sure that general is selected on the left side and over here in the right side at the end of this menu, you should see in blue appearing shut down. Click on shut down and you'll have a slider on the top. Slide this slider to the right side and the iPad should shut down in about three seconds. Now the second way on how to shut down your iPad you see on top here you have the power button and on the sides you have a volume up and volume down button. You need to keep press the power button at the same time as one of these buttons, does not matter which one. Let me do it with you, I'll select this button, okay, so one second and I release. And then I should see the same exact slider appearing on the top of my iPad here, take your finger drag it towards the right side and the iPad is now completely shut down. How do you turn it on? Well, very easy, find the power button and keep it pressed during about three seconds until you see the Apple logo appearing right in the middle of the screen. So let me do it with you. One, two, three. Okay, it appeared. You can release the button once you see the Apple logo. Right now the iPad is booting up, it can take about, I would say, 40 seconds, sometimes even less, you see here, it only took maybe 10 uh, to completely turn on and now you can go ahead and use it. Uh, after you shut down your iPad, this is very important, you won't be able to use the Touch ID fingerprint reader to wake it up, I mean to enter um, the iPad. You'll have to put the password. So let me just show you if here I'm trying to access my iPad, it will say Touch ID requires your passcode when iPad restarts. So this is why you go ahead and type your password and then Touch ID will be available. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.